everyone, and thank you for joining us for our Bain Booster today. My name is Shannon Kennedy, and I'm a CSM here at VistaView Solutions. Today, I will be discussing period end closing or year end closing in SAP Business One. In your SAP Business One modules menu, you'll see that you have access to your admin menu. If for some reason you don't have access to your admin menu, simply reach out to someone in your company and management that can update your authorizations for your Business One user. Underneath admin, you will be choosing utilities and then period end closing. Period end closing can be closing per month or per fiscal year, depending upon how your company works. Your fiscal year will also depend upon how your SAP Business One company is set. It will not always be January to December, as you'll see in my system. So inside my period end closing selection criteria screen, you'll see we have two accounts that are entered. These are your retained earnings and your period end closing account. You will need to select an account for both of those options in order to proceed with period end closing. If you know this account and this field is blank, simply click within the field and key in your account. If you don't, you can use the standard SAP find circle and select from all of the accounts within the system. If you need to create a new one, simply go into your chart of accounts and create a new retained earnings or period end closing account. Your accounting team should be able to help you with that or your SAP support partner. Next, we're going to select the period that we're closing or the year. We're going to be closing the year 2021 and our fiscal year is January to December. So we'll select the earliest period first, which is January. And we're going to go to our last period, which is December of 2021. Now we'll simply click execute. Once we click execute, our period end closing information opens. This allows you to type in a reference for year end example. You can type in an additional reference if needed by your company. And you'll select a due date and a document date for your period end closing. This is normally going to be the last day of the last month of your period end or fiscal year. In our case, this would be January would be December 31st of 2021. And I'm going to simply match my document date to my due date here. Inside your remarks, you're also able to update your period and closing remarks if you choose. A unique period here is always entered with every period and closing. However, I'm going to simply add 2021 to my remarks. So I know and everyone in my company knows that we're closing the fiscal year 2021. Once you've entered your remarks and your document and due date information, you're going to select your accounts seen in your grid. These are the accounts that will be affected by your period end closing in order to keep the proper records for accounting inside of your SAP Business One system. Once you've selected these accounts, simply click Execute. Once you click Execute, your period end closing or your fiscal year end closing will be complete. Once you click Execute, your period end, delete that last part. So as you can see here, this operation has completed successfully and we've now successfully closed our periods for our 2021 fiscal year. Once this is done, if you'd like to review your journal entries created by your period end closing, simply X out or cancel out of your period end closing screen. We're gonna use our lookup menu and look up our, our journal entry screen here. And you should be able to use your standard SAP Business One back button to open up the last created journal entry, which should include your period and closing information. Once you're finished with your period and closing, you'll also want to open up your periods inside of SAP Business One and ensure that you've now locked all of the periods that you've closed. For us, that will include all of the periods in 2021. I'm going to use my search button here. I'm going to look up my posting periods. This will open up a screen with all of your available posting periods. And I'm simply going to scroll down to my last posting periods, which are my 2021. And I'd start setting these to locked. You want to enable all of these to locked because you don't want anyone to be able to post anything to a period that's already been closed. 
Please join us for the future for a future brain booster where we'll explain the creation of new posting periods for your new fiscal year. Thanks so much for joining us. And again, my name is Shannon Kennedy. I'm a CSM here at VistaView Solutions. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions or concerns you may have.